The biggest threat to vector databases, it's not OpenAI, it's not Replete, it's S3. Yes, Amazon S3 Vectors just launched and it's about to break the vector database market wide open. AWS now lets you store and search vectors directly in S3. No extra infra, no vector DB setup and 90% cheaper than traditional methods. Each vector bucket can hold about 10,000 indexes. Each index, tens of millions of vectors. So what happens to Pinecone, Viviet and Quadrant now? Well, some developers say it's game over. Vector databases are dead before RAG hosted one engineer. Another said, if I were building today, I just use S3 and open search, period. Pinecone's response, well, we are not worried. We work with AWS, not against it. They claim S3 Vectors isn't built for high performance, low latency use cases like theirs. But the writing's been on the wall. Postgres has PG Vector, MongoDB calls, Vector Search, just indexing. CockroachDB, TIDB, they're all added vector support. In short, Vector Search is becoming a feature, not a product. So for most companies, especially developer teams that don't need blazing fast performance, S3 vectors are good enough and far cheaper. Sure, niche players still win on speed and hybrid search, but the future, well, it belongs to platforms that combine vector plus, structured, semantic, all in one. So are vector databases really dead? Maybe not yet, but Amazon just started the countdown. This front page by AIM TV. Like, share, subscribe, and please do tell us in the comments. Would you still use a standalone vector DB in 2025? Or is it time to S3 and chill? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Think AI, think AIM.